Hello, everybody. It is so good to be here. You know, I uh, I am just so honored to be with normal American. I mean, it's just, you know, Washington D.C. These these globalists who want to indoctrinate our children. They want to remove our moral foundation from the next generation. They want to make a generation that's completely reliant on the government. Uh, when I'm around them in Washington, D.C., I, I literally feel like we're at battle at all times. And it's not just against flesh and blood up there. You, you, you can feel the, the tension in that city. So when I get to come down to Orlando and see real Americans who care about this country, it does my heart so good. So thank you for that. Uh, but I, I wanted to really get to talk about what's going on in our nation. And, and you know, I think what's happening is they're trying to destroy our nuclear family. Uh, they're trying to destroy what's made America great for so long, and that's our moral foundation, the fact that we were founded on Judeo-Christian values and that uh, we live in a nation that we can all be proud of. And, and when, you know, I, I'm excited to be a dad. I just got married. Everything's going great in my life. Yes, thank you. Uh, and because of that, you know, I'm starting to think about having children. You know, my wife and I are having that conversation, you know, is it going to be two years, three years? When is it, it going to be? Uh, and something about that just makes me feel completed as a, as a man, and as a soon-to-be father one day. You know, I feel like there's a, something primal within us that makes us want to raise children and, and rear them in, in, as, as we're called to do in the Bible, you know, to be fruitful and multiply. Uh, but, you know, when, when, I think about, when I think about raising my children, obviously I, I want to provide for them. I want to give them shelter. I want to give them protection. I want to give them sustenance. Uh, but when I start to think about this child, you know, I obviously want it to be very successful. And so I want my child to learn to be independent. And so because of that, you know, I, I'm going to let my child push the boundaries every now and then. You know, maybe he's reaching for a limb. I know it's just a little too far. And he might uh, experience what it's like to fall out of a tree or he's going to take a tumble uh, on, on, a, on a playground that hurts him just a little bit. You know, I know in that, fa in that fact that he will learn what failure is. But, you know, when my child starts to experience this extreme difficulty uh, and realizes that he's in pain, what's it going to do? Uh, what's my little Throckmorton going to do? Uh, he's going he's to cry out. And as a father, I'm going to want to come to his aid and, and fix all those problems for him and, and put him back in a, in a safe, sheltered area. That's the role of a father. It's the role of a mother. But my friends, that is not the role of our government. Our... Our government right now is trying to buy votes in their desperate scramble to have nothing but complete power. Uh, they are trying to do this by, you know, they're promising Medicare for all. They're promising free things just left and right. And they're promising to forgive student loans. Now, the problem I have with this is that it's intellectually dishonest. You know, they're trying to think that Americans are, are too common or are too naive to know that in the end, we're the ones that have to foot the bill. In the end, it is the next generation, my generation, that will have to foot the bill for this debt and pay these taxes uh, because people wanted to give away free tuition, because people wanted to, to try and buy votes. But you know, I, I believe that in this country, we should, we should push back on that. We as Americans must realize that our number one guiding principle is personal responsibility. We have to realize that what happens in our country when the government comes and tries to come to our aid and raise us up, if you have a government that is strong enough to fix all of your problems and, and heal all of your woes, then my friends, you have a government that is also strong enough to one day take away all of your liberties. And as conservatives, it is our, it is, it is our mandate to limit that power of government, to make sure that our our liberties stay intact because, my friends, let me tell you, when I look at what's going on in this country, when I see that they are trying to, to silence us, they are trying to take away our right to be able to defend ourselves, they're trying to make us become dependent on the government, they're trying to have indoctrination camps of schools, and the way they're trying to make us dependent on the government is through trying to say they want to get rid of all our student loans, but at the end of the day... What's going to happen is people who didn't even go to college, young men and women who became welders or, or, or linemen on power lines or HVAC repairmen, or people who've already paid off their student loans, now have to go and take care of the fiscal irresponsibility of another person. So I realize, in my mind, I believe that we all must take note 
that they do not want us to be responsible. They don't want us to take responsibility for the direction that our country is going in. Because my friends, the direction our country is going in, we all know is very dangerous. We are walking down a road that is very near socialism. They are trying to turn this country into a communist ash heap. And my friends, if we do not all start taking personal responsibility for our lives, if we all do not start saying as this next generation this, the, of young conservatives coming up saying that, you know, it, it's not enough. We're not just going to take on the status quo. We're not just going to sit here and say, oh, well, you know, I, I'll just patiently wait for my time to come to go make a difference in Washington or in my state government. My friends, if we do that, if we sit on the sidelines, we will not have a country to inherit. If we do not get involved and say that it is our duty to make sure that our country is, is responsible, that our country doesn't take away our liberties, then my friends, we will lose this nation. And so my encouragement to all of us here is as young conservatives, this new generation that's coming up, it's time to take responsibility. I need reinforcements in Washington, D.C. Uh, the Democrats... My opponents and adversaries on the other side are, are, are brutal and vicious. And they are trying to take away all of our rights and they are playing for keeps. And so my friends, it is time for us to stand up and no longer say, oh, well, we're just going to react to what the Democrats do. And when they try to do all of this major spending bills, when they try to spend $1.9 trillion, the conservative idea is just that we're going to come and, and, and give you a, our own version of the, of the liberal ideas that just cost a little bit less. Uh, that's, that's not what we are as conservatives. I'm going to tell you something. I'm not going to come up here and promise you free things. As a conservative, I, we in, in the conservatives in government, we believe that we are going to offer you something that is immeasurably more valuable, and that is your freedom. That is your freedom to go out and, and have the right to fail or to succeed. Your freedom to speak up or, or, or to sit down. And my friends, we have that freedom right now, and it is time for us to no longer sit down. It's time for us to stand up and take on issues everywhere, whether it's on free education, our health care, the environment, our gun rights. This new generation of young conservatives, we do not just want a seat at the table to talk about this and, and react to what the Democrats do. We want to run the whole damn table. Because, my friend, what we are offering the American people is liberty and choice. We are going to say you can go out and do whatever you want. And maybe we're not going to encourage you to go get a four-year degree in Egyptology. But rather, we're going to encourage you to get an education in a trade, something that makes our economy even more powerful. So, my friends, when you hear the Democrats trying to buy your votes and acting like you are too, too naive to know what is going on, push back on that. Take personal responsibility for your life because if we don't stand up, if we don't start fighting our, for our country, then who will? Thank you.